The easiest way to find the square root of any number is to use a calculator. But if you are asked to find the square root of a number without using a calculator, there are two ways in which we can do it. The first method is phenomenally simple. It's called the prime factorization method. We will look at the second method in the coming videos. If you have watched the previous video, you should be familiar with what square roots are. So we can look at square roots of slightly larger numbers in this video. So we want to find the square root of 225. Our aim is very simple. We have to reduce this number to its prime factors. That's all. How do we do it? Before we go ahead, let us revise what prime numbers are. A prime number is a number which is divisible only by itself and 1. Say 5. 5 is divisible by 1 and it's divisible by 5. There's no other number which can divide 5. 1 and itself. Hence, it's a prime number. Let's consider 8. 8 is divisible by 1, 2, 4 and 8. Apart from 1 and itself, it's also divisible by 2 and 4. Hence, it's not a prime number. So let us start reducing the number 225 into prime factors. Prime factors are the factors of this number which are prime. We can write 225 as 5 multiplied by 45. 5 is prime, but 45 isn't. So let's reduce 45 further and write 225 as 5 times 5 times 9. We wrote 45 as 5 times 9. 5 is a prime factor, but 9 isn't. 9 can be written as 3 times 3. Hence, 225 can be written as 5 times 5 times 3 times 3. In this way, we reduce 225 into its prime factors. This was simple, but is it the quickest way? No. Let's look at a quicker way. We write 225 like this and draw two lines here, like this. 225 is divisible by 5, so we write a 5 here. We just write the prime factors in this column. 5 multiplied by 45 gives us 225. 45 is not prime, hence we continue with this process. 45 is also divisible by 5, hence we write a 5 here. And 5 multiplied by 9 gives us 45. 9 is not prime and we can say that 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. That's where we stop, when we get a prime factor here. So if we look carefully, we have got all the prime factors, 5 times 5 times 3 times 3. Why do I say this method is faster? Look at the first 5 in this method. We continue to write it every step. Then we repeat the 5 times 5 we got in this step in the third step. Many of the numbers are repeated in every step and hence there's a bit of a redundancy. If you really want to know how tedious this method can get, try reducing 216 into its prime factors. By now we should be fairly comfortable with prime factorization. But now we're getting to the most important point. How will this help us find the square root of 225? You will not believe how simple it is. We write this as square root of 5 times 5 times 3 times 3. We have to make groups of two same numbers. This can be our first group, 5 and 5. We can make another group, 3 and 3. We basically formed pairs of same numbers. So we have two pairs of same numbers here, 5 and 5 and 3 and 3. Once we form pairs, to find the square root, all we have to do is pick one number from each pair and multiply them. So from the first pair, we pick 5 and from the second pair, we pick 3. And we multiply 5 and 3 which gives us 15. At first, this seems long but with practice, it gets very simple. Hence, we can say that the square root of 225 is 15. All we did is broke down the number to its prime factors, made pairs, chose one number from each pair and multiplied them. In the next part of this video, we will see how we can find the square root of 11,025 using this method.